Afternoon. I just thought I'd do another update now on the Trans Pennine route upgrade. And we're at Lady Anne Crossing, Batley, just north of Batley train station. And um, oh, I've just been cycling too much. So this is where we are. I'll just switch cameras, show you. So this is now what I see. Batley signal box is just out of sight to the right. And look at the old Great Northern embankment now here. It's been halved, if not more. It is, that's Primrose Hill down there. And let's hope we can get across the crossing. As I say, I've got the bike with me. Because they're putting a bridge of some sort in here. How that's going to take place and what it's going to look like, I've no idea. But we'll see. There's a train coming, Trans Pennine. No northern service on a Sunday. see what that was right well we've just crossed over now oh is it all right back in the main well we'll come back and have a look at that possibly so there's no bridge there at the moment but uh, yeah the great northern embankment down there has been reduced considerably yeah it has looks like it's a great northern that, yeah So we've just come up that path there from the level crossing and uh, we're going to go down here now on Sunnybank Road because there's a footbridge I want to check out. We've been before and it was in use. I believe it is now out of use. So let's see what the score is. If it is, we might not even be able to get on the path unless I've diverted it. There's a path up to the left just after York Drive, which is up there. That goes top of Batleyfield Hill, Timothy Lane. So there's nothing here to suggest that the path is closed, but I'm sure we'll find out in the fullness of time. Right, it did say out of use for this path. I'm just leaving the bike there out of the way for now. So I'll have a look at the bridge and see what the score is, see if it's going to be taken out or repaired or replaced. Fit for the 21st century. Switch cameras. So yes, I saw this from the train on yesterday, I think it was. We can't use the bridge now. Oh, somebody's left a... Hmm, who's left that there? Mm, I know I'm taking it. Oh, what's it said there? Look, West End Footbridge. Well, it looks to be still intact to me. I don't know why it's out of use. Oh, unsafe structure. All oh, right. I wonder if they're going to make it safe. Who knows? So you can see the crossing just down there, where the uh, abutment has been altered, reduced. And the signal box is just in the centre of the picture now, just there, because that's coming out eventually. It's fenced off at the other side as well down there. Ail Sedell will be pretty pleased about that, because they didn't really like people walking. So there's a little camera there to obviously see if anyone's trespassing and going against the... Um, what is it? So what's this sign say here? Footway closed. Yeah. Anyway, that's all we need to know. So we'll come back again at some point if it's been repaired or replaced. Who knows? Because there were thoughts of diverting the path down there onto Howley Mill Lane. Whether it was going to take that alignment straight down there, I don't know. Or run alongside the railway. We'll have to just wait and see and find out in the fullness of time. Right, let's grab the bike and we'll go back. Right, the path we just used is just there. Now look at this. This is the old Great Northern line to Bradford. Oh, you can't even see underneath it now. That's it there. That's looking towards Bradford. Upper Batley is the next station up there. But uh, I'll just go down to the... Now under you. See these things. It's like a double width bridge is this. And I've actually walked. I can still get under it just about. 
if you had to do a lot of hay been dropped it's a long time since smoke has last hit this bridge here because we're having a wall down the side there there's another part of the bridge on the opposite side of that wall into some stables this is the other side of that bridge now and it looks like you can actually get underneath it here so looking towards Batley and Dewsbury Wakefield no train's been on here for over 50 years now It was a bit mucky down here. I've got some decent trainers on. Yeah, you can get underneath it. Probably just. Now, I just come past the front of St Thomas's Church, which is just there, onto Rutland Road. And this is now where the bridge is going to go, allegedly. They've obviously put some uh, foundations for it. They've knocked the wall down, partly. So it looks like it's just going straight across there and then they're going to use the old alignment of the Great Northern Line where they've lowered it uh, to uh, to facilitate it. I think we'll go back over the crossing actually and go down Primrose Hill. We'll do that. Let's put the bike down a minute. Oh dear. So... Yeah, you can't see a lot because of all the gubbins, all the trees, and hopefully they'll get rid of a lot of this. Shame I got the drone, actually, isn't it, really? But yeah, what you can see, not much. Anyway, let's get back to the crossing and we'll go back over. You can see a bit better here now where they've lowered the former Great Northern embankment para bridge parapet. So the one on the... Uh, Downside is still there and probably will be for years to come. Get magpies over there, pigeons. Right, let's get back over the crossing and we'll go to we'll down from Primrose Hill. Right, you can see the crossover up there is in now. So that's going to be used to terminate trains at Dewsbury, I think, from what I've been told anyway. I don't think you'd be likely to use it going wrong road to Leeds. It's strange how it's not a, uh, a, a trailing crossover rather than a facing one because you could just go into Dewsbury Normal and come out wrong road and cross over because there was a crossover there years ago anyway on the viaduct. But it was taken out in the early 90s. There's a signal there. That signal there may be repositioned a few hundred yards nearer to Leeds, who knows? So looking south now, or west. And uh, that's about the train station you can see just there. I might uh, nip down back to Dewsbury with me to get on and got time to kill. So, yeah. Well, it's not been a, a bad afternoon, actually, all in, all in, all taken into consideration. Yes, I mean, all taken into consideration. We've seen my brother, because it's his birthday today, and also seen the mother. But uh, that was before I started this video, so. Anyway, let's head on now uh, down to Dewsbury. Okay. There's train coming in now. That is possibly what we're going to get going back from Dewsbury. Right, rather than go straight along the main A652 Bradford Road into Dewsbury, I thought I'd just have a bit more of a cycle ride to kill time. We've got about 10 minutes or so now before the train leaves Dewsbury. Uh, so I thought I'd just come up and have a look at where the old uh, Dewsbury General Hospital was. So it's over there. I'll switch cameras. You can see. So I've just come down that path there. And this is roughly where the old Dewsbury General Hospital was. Not sure when it closed, but I think it'd be at least 30 years ago now. Or thereabouts. Because my late father used to work there in the 60s and 70s. It's where, <laughs> where he met my mum, I think. So I'm going to go down here now and we'll head straight down to Dewsbury train station. Right, the lesser used entrance to Dewsbury train station. Is here. There's a train in. Not sure what it is. Oh, it's on this side, I think. Yeah, it is. Manchester Vic York, I think. It's non stop to Leeds, we don't want this one. Well, that didn't take very long to get down here from the old Dewsbury General, as it was. 
So uh, we'll get the next train back to Cottingley now and home. End the video. Cottingley, Leeds, Selby, Brock. This is not our train, this, this is a fast man big service. It's diverting via the Calder Valley, hence Manchester Vic being the next stop, and that's it. Train's coming in now from the south end of the station. Six car formation, so we need to be in the front unit for Cottingley. What a field to hold service. This is the same one we saw at Batley earlier. Train leave and then head home. Right, so that was that was it for today now. So um, cue music. See you next video. Bye for now.